Exactly a year ago, Brin 3 with Felbroth was published. At the ESCO, they were presented the updated uh, date of Brin 3 with the overall survival. What are, in your opinion, the most important results in comparison to the data presented last year? Yes, indeed, Paul Chapman uh, presented an update um, of the Brim Tree analysis. Um, and the, the news are that, that, of course, the survival benefit is still uh, present, as well as the disease-free survival. Um, it's true that uh, with the longer time follow-up, uh, the hazard ratio for deaths is actually uh, a little bit less impressive than it was at the beginning. We, we went from 0.33, something like that, to 0.7, um, which is somehow expected because this uh, drug has a very fast uh, onset of action. But unfortunately, we know that um, after five, six months, most of the patients uh, do progress uh, through alternative pathways. So we're not too surprised that uh, uh, with this updated analysis, uh, the hazard ratio has dropped, uh, well, increased a little bit. But of course, it stays uh, perfectly statistically significant. So it's still uh, absolutely uh, a first choice treatment for patients that are progressing uh, rapidly uh, under uh, um, the, the metastatic disease. How do you rate the documented survival advantage in brain 3 with Salboraf? So the advantage of survival of, of emirafenib is uh, undeniable. Uh, it's only a drug, uh, or at least an approach, BRAF inhibition that is here to stay. Um, it's a, a very rapid drug um, in the way it, it acts on, on, on tumor cell, so you can really rescue patient in, in a very nice way. Uh, it's also true that the, the progression is, uh, is frequent and, and fast five, six, seven months uh, after. Uh, some patients actually can benefit uh, from the drug uh, much longer. Uh, so, so we still need a little bit of time to find markers of patients that are candidate for longer responses and, and those that, that will relapse uh, uh, sooner. And also, of course, to work on combination uh, uh, trials where we can block the subsequent pathway that are activated uh, upon recurrence. What is the influence of the crossover in BRIM3 on the overall survival data? So, of course, um, uh, the crossover has made the analysis of the survival data more difficult, uh, but uh, Paul Chapman uh, um, presented data where uh, the, the patient who crossed uh, after um, progression on ETIC have been censored. So I think we can still interpret this data uh, in a meaningful way, and if you use the censored data, um, uh, the gain in overall survival is still uh, highly significant. Uh, so th the main result from last year would still hold this year.